When I wanted to uh, have a job at PBS, I had to learn things like this. <clears throat> to paraphrase Occam's razor, uh, everything else being equal, the simplest answer is usually the best. This is PBS. So let's apply that theory here for a second to search for a replacement to oil and gas. Where would that take us? How about air? No shortage of it. I mean, it's there. It's completely free to everybody. There'd be no global warming problems because the byproduct of air would, of course, be air. But is that idea insane? Probably, but maybe not if you believe a company called Zero Pollution Motors. And if they're right, Al Gore's going to look pretty darn stupid very soon. They say they've developed an air-powered car that may be on American roads by 2010. Matt Sullivan is an online editor for Popular Mechanics. Come on, Matt, this cannot be true. Otherwise, you would see this. This would lead the news everywhere. It sounds pretty far-fetched, Glenn, but actually Detroit engineers and, and automotive engineers in general have been trying to come up with an air-powered car for a while now. And there's a former Formula One engineer named Guy Negra, whose company in France has actually kind of been working on this since the early 90s. And we're always skeptical of popular mechanics of these kind of, you know, world-changing sure. gee whiz technology. But when they started licensing the technology to Tata Motors, this big Indian manufacturer that actually just bought Jaguar and Land Rover from Ford, we kind of started to pay attention. And of course, that was a kind of smaller car that was used more for the city and could fill you up for about two bucks in about three minutes at a little compression station or in your home. But now, Zero Pollution Motors, which is a little startup based in New York, says they can bring a full six-seater sedan uh, to the U.S. by the end of 2009. Um, and, and, of course, that works with a kind of little hybrid module of it all, which, which can get you 100 miles per gallon on as little as eight gallons of gas for a thousand mile range. Holy so God. that's your hundred miles per gallon okay, right is there. Is this the, 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 the little green car? The, is that the, I mean, because that's a coffin on wheels. Yeah, you said but it. I mean, uh, that, that, that's one of their smaller, smaller models that they showed off as part of the Automotive X Prize uh, at the New York Auto Show last week. It kind of looks like a, like a, a box of junk. At, no, at, at I mean, I'll look. drive a box of junk if it, I mean, really, if you get a thousand miles on eight gallons of gas, I'll, buy, I'll drive a box of junk, but. I don't want a giant Escalade backing up and me going, oh, <laughs> crap, I'm dead. You said it, and that's the big fear when you think air-powered car. You think, you know, you get a huge explosion of fireball on the road. But no, the, I was just the, thinking that I would be crushed in a little plastic car. Fair enough. That, <laughs> that too. And, 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 and some of these parts are, are glued together, so, so, so right. it's going to have to deal with some of those side impact Safe, safety ratings before it can come to the U.S., but they're building about one of these prototypes a day, and you know, if, if you believe what they're saying, I think they can get them here, and they have a kind of cool business model where, whereby they're going to start off with kind of little uh, factories that license the technology themselves and are actually the dealers as well. So you've got a little guy in Georgia, a guy in New England, a guy in New York, and they can pump out about 4,000 cars a year, sell them themselves, and hopefully these will start to take off in American cities where you've seen kind of these little buggy micro cars taking off anyway. I've only anyway. seen a little smart car. Come on. Smart <laughs> Smart car, no man, no man would ever drive a smart car. Um, it, it, real quick, uh, do they have guts to them? Can they can they go quickly? Oh yeah, they can they can hit up to 98 miles per hour and and a, a, apparently allegedly go on go on this longer this charge. This, um, I, I tell you, this company's worth a fortune, worth billions of dollars. Oh, they're getting invest works. investors oh, by by the minute, okay. and um, you, you know you you wonder if it's going to get bigger by the minute too. Matt, thank you very much. Now more on the air car. If you want to read about it, sign up for my free email newsletter at glenbeck.com. We'll link to, to to the full story in tomorrow's edition. That's at glenbeck.com. Back in a minute.